Hey, what's up? In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix your LG washing machine that's tripping the power. So if you turn on your washing machine or if you plug it in and straight away it's tripping your main board, you've got a problem with something setting off the breaker board on your board. So what you want to do is you want to first check a couple of things. So the first thing you want to check is the heating element on your LG washing machine. So what you want to do is turn it on and if it doesn't turn on, if it trips straight away, we're going to disconnect the heater, which will be at the back of the washing machine. So to get to the heater, you need a Phillips head screwdriver and a number 10 socket so that you can get the heater off. But for now, we're just going to disconnect the connections to that heater and then that way we will see if the problem goes away. So this fix is going to cover a lot of models. Yours might look different from this one, but essentially this fix will cover most models as this problem, this principle is the same across all the LG washing machines. To be able to access the heating element, you need to access the back of your washing machine. So at the back, there will be a silver cover there. And behind that cover is where you will find your heating element. So to take off the back cover, just make sure you've completely unplugged your washing machine. And there'll be four screws. So one, two, three, four. So you just need to undo those. Beautiful. When you've got that off, what you want to do is slide the cover up and then pull the, back, the bottom out away from the washing machine and then pull it down like that. So there's tabs that hold it in place. So there'll be one, two, three, four. Either way, as when you, when you remove the screws, you'll be able to access this panel and pull it any way you choose to. So I just set that aside and then we'll have a closer look inside to see what the problem is with our washing machine. When you've got that cover off, you'll notice that down here there'll be a silver panel, so a silver uh, thing, and there'll be wires going to it. So you, what you want to do, this is your heating element, and it's usually at the bottom of the washing machine on these LG washers, and there's usually about four wires connected to it. So you've got your two power ones, so you want to disconnect one, two, so just disconnect all the wires connected to it, and don't worry about removing the earth because the earth doesn't cause any issues with tripping power and setting off fuses and all that. So once you've disconnected that, what you want to do is you want to take your power plug and plug it back into the power and then turn on your washing machine and see what happens. If the power doesn't go off, then the culprit would be your heating element and you'd need to change that. Let's move in closer and have a look at what the heating element looks like. So right here, that's your heating element. If you're having problems, you want to disconnect these wires that were just disconnected. To remove it, you'll need a 10 millimeter socket and you need to undo this nut. And then there will be another nut behind that. When you undo it, and then you can just, uh, when it's free, just get a screwdriver and just pry this out and then just swap out with the new heating element. Now these heating elements, you can look up on eBay and type in the model number of your washing machine and just say heating element for that washer. There should be a couple there for sale for wherever you are. If you have any issues and can't find what your model number is and where to buy the part, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Then I'll be more than happy to help you to figure that out. 
Another thing you also want to check if it's still tripping power. Usually with these ones, some of them have steam wash. And to show you the steam wash function, this particular model that I have doesn't have it. But I'll show you on another one that has a steam wash function. So the steam wash function has another heater plus this one. So usually that steam wash heater, usually um, in periods where you haven't used it much, it usually rusts and that rusts causes that heating element to fail. And then well, that's when you start getting power trips. So whenever you turn on the washing machine and the power goes straight away, the heating element is the usual suspect. Very rarely do you find your door switch that will do that because when you turn on a washing machine, it just checks everything and the door switch doesn't get checked until you actually press start on the washing machine. So let's have a look at the steam wash heater and see what can go wrong with it. So for most LG washing machines, if they do have the steam function, it will be written on there, usually on the soap drawer or somewhere close to the cycles there. It'll say steam wash and then you'd know to check that heating element. So let's check that heating element and see how we can disconnect it. In order to access the steam wash heater, you need to remove the top cover. To remove the top cover, there'll be two holders at the back of your washing machine with two screws on them, as in this picture. You can see there's one here and one there. And if you move to the other side, there's one there and one there. You need to remove those and then slide the top cover off. To remove the top cover, you just slide this thing back. If you pull it and slide it back, it'll come off just like that. And it comes off. So when you open your LG washing machine, there will be uh, your soap drawer. And then behind the soap drawer will be the steam wash heating element and chamber. And if we have a look over here, you can see that there's a, there's a heater here. So you need to disconnect these wires. So all the wires connected to this, apart from the green earth here, you disconnect. And that will take care of your problem of the fuses or the breaker box tripping. So that will take care of your issue. Sometimes if yours is a washer dryer, you'd also need to disconnect the heating element of the dryer. So in order to disconnect that, you disconnect this red and yellow wires. Essentially just disconnect all the wires connected to the heating element and then that should take care of your problem. Hey, I do hope this has solved your issue. If you found any value in this video, be sure to click that like button. It goes a long way to help this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as I do post a lot of content on how to fix your washing machine. You never know what will break down next and it would be handy to have me in your inbox and I will help you solve these and many other issues. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time. Cheers.